In Ready Math Lesson 9, we're solving one step word problems with two digit numbers. Now, we've done a couple of lessons this year on solving word problems, and we've slowly been learning how to work with two digit numbers. So, we're going to kind of pull all of that together using the strategies we've already kind of used this school year. In this example from Ready Math, there's a word problem that we're going to look at. Again, it is one step, so we're focusing on one operation, either addition or subtraction. All right, so let's read through the problem. Some books were on a shelf. Students took 24 books from the shelf. Then there were 38 books on the shelf. How many books were on the shelf to begin with? One of our strategies we've used to kind of make sense of these word problems is to close our eyes and to picture the actions taking place. So if you want to, you can close your eyes while I kind of read through this problem again. I want you to picture what's happening in the story. So it starts off with some books were on a shelf. So I can close my eyes and picture a bookshelf full of books. Maybe it's in the library at school. So there's a bunch of books on the shelf. I don't know how many. This says students took 24 books from the shelf. So let's say that there's 24 kids in your class and each one of you goes and takes a book off the shelf. So 24 books have been taken off of the shelf. Now there are 38 books left. So I can see those 38 are still on the shelf. But the question is, how many books were on the shelf to begin with? Or how many were there when we started the story? All right, so we know how many were taken away. We know how many are left. We're trying to figure out how many were there to start with. Now, the book goes back to using those number bonds or bar models, or whatever you want to call them, as a way for us to think about the actions of the story and kind of put everything together to help us figure out what operation needs to take place. So here we have, um, we call it a part, part, whole if you want, but we know that the total number of books would be the whole. The books that are taken away is one of the parts, and the books that are left on the shelf is the other part. And so if you think about that part, part, whole idea, we can fill in the numbers from the problem. So we know that 24 were taken away. We know that there are 38 are left. And so that is our two parts. What we're trying to determine is the whole this time. So thinking back to what we know about number bonds and part, part holes, is that if we have the two parts, we put them together. So we would add these together to get that total amount. All right. So we then have to rely on what we know about adding with two digit numbers to find that total number of books. And so down here, I'm going to take my two numbers, 24 and 38, and I'm going to break them apart into their expanded form so we could talk about the place value. So we've got 24, and then we've got 38. And so we look at adding together the tens and the ones to help us find the total. So if I start with my ones, I have eight and four. Well, no, eight and two more gives me 10. And so two more of that would be 12. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 in the ones place. And then I have 30 and 20. So three and two is five. So that would be 50 in the tens place. But again, we can only have one digit in the ones place. So that group of 10 that we made is going to join our group of 50 for a total of 60 with our two left over or our answer of 62. So there are 62 books on the shelf to start with. All right, so that's an example of how to, again, process through that word problem, figure out the parts and the whole, helps us determine what operations need to happen. Now, there's one more example from the book I want to look at, and that is this one. It says Todd plays a game, and the table shows his points. So we see level one, we don't know what the points are. We see level two is 16 points, and then we're given the total. And so, again, we can fill in a bar model or a part, part, whole thinking about what we're given in the information. So 55 is the total, that's our whole. 
We know one of the parts. We know what he scored on level two. But what we're missing is level one. And so in this lesson, they try to start to take those part, part, whole ideas and turn that into an equation. And so I showed it to you in like more of an expanded form. But here we have it broken apart in an equation. And so we put together the two levels of scoring. So we have level one, which we don't know. We have level two, which we know. We know that has to equal the total number or the whole. Or because we're missing one of the parts, sometimes we would think about this as a subtraction problem. So 55 minus the 16 would give us the piece that's missing. All right. So you can really look at it as an addition problem or a subtraction problem. But either way, we're finding the missing piece, the missing part. And so a lot of times we'll think about it more as a subtraction problem. So with that being said, I can do my subtraction. Again, I'm going to use our place value understanding to break this apart into tens and to ones. So I have 50 and 55. 50 and 5 makes it 55. And I'm going to subtract a group of 10 and a group of 6 from that number. Now, here's a problem. We only have five ones to start with and we're taking away six ones so i'm going to regroup i've got to take that one of those groups of 10 and turn it into um 10 ones so i'm actually going to change this up a little bit hopefully i have enough room to do that i'm going to make it 40 tens and 15 ones i'm going to subtract the 10 and the six all right, so I can use all kinds of strategies to help me with subtraction. I can start at six and count up to 15. So I can do that with seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if I count up, that's actually nine. And if I think about 40 or four groups of 10, minus a group of 10 would be 30, which means 30 and nine would make this 39. So 39 and 16 would give me my total of 55. So again, with working with word problems, the biggest part is trying to figure out which operation is going to happen. So they use those bar models or part, part holes to help us make sense of the problem. But then we're gonna to have to use our strategies we've learned for addition and subtraction of two digit numbers.